we've already seen uh, catastrophic damage across parts of St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Grenada. Unfortunately, Jamaica is next. Got a lot of crazy things happening in the news today that you should know about. One being Hurricane Barrel about to barrel through Texas. Because if you haven't seen how much devastation this thing is packing a punch with, with that headed towards Texas, people need to be warned. And watch out, you won't believe what they're dropping in the skies over all the American people. Got some countries getting smart and banning fake meat. Lots of great information you guys should know about coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you want to know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. All right, hope you guys are having a great day. First of all, I want to talk about this because this is kind of scary, and I think that it's been something that has been almost like a big pill to swallow. I'm believing it because there's been a lot of hype controversy, debate. But the fact of the matter is, stuff is getting put into the sky. It's a matter of fact now. You don't have to dig very hard to find the documentation, to find the proof. It's all over news agencies now, whether you've seen it or not. But real quick, before I tell you about that, just a couple days ago, I introduced you guys to working with me behind the scenes. Real fast, as you guys know, we've been pushing American-made, non-toxic ingredient type stuff and supporting family-owned business that is against the big monopoly out there, helping people like you and I switch over to safe stuff, supporting things we should be supporting instead of supporting the conglomerates and the stuff that we complain about. We're actually funding that. So I'll have more information at the end of the video if that interests you, if you wanna work with us behind the scenes, if you wanna make a little bit of extra side income, because in fact, we are meeting tonight, Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time to go through the ins and outs of what we do. So maybe you're the type that's already awake, you already have or want to switch over to safe stuff, support American made, and a mission and movement that frankly more Americans need to get behind if we're gonna change anything. Otherwise, I feel like we're all circling the drain. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you a little bit more information on that. There's a Zoom link down in the description and the pinned comment. Now moving on, a lot of people being warned about stuff being dropped down in the skies. Everyone looks up in the skies and sees all these trails, right? All these trails, you know what kind of trails they are. I'm not gonna say the words because that's how you get things dinged on this thing, if you know what I mean. I mean, have you guys even looked into this? I'm not gonna deep dive on this because you guys can do your own deep dive and I'm just wanting to scratch the surface so that you guys are aware and go look for more information because it's out there and I can't go over all of it right here, but check this out. Moreover, you heard earlier about the idea of nanoparticulate matter that can be utilized in a weaponizable way. And here too, we're looking very, very strongly at what nanoparticulate matter can do to the nervous system. Some ongoing studies with our colleagues in the medical branches of NATO have in fact shown that the use of nanoparticulate matter in a scatter arrangement can be used to incur what looks to be broad scale epidemiological stroke epidemics. So what we're able to do here is infiltrate the brain space with nanoparticulate matter that aggregates in situ, on site in the brain. And there's one of two things, either penetrates from the vascular space, gets in through the bloodstream, gets in through the nose, through the mucosa, or infiltrates the vascular space and clogs it. What is the result? What's called a nanoparticulate stroke or a hemorrhagic diathesis, fancy word, for it's a predisposition to individuals having brain bleeds. Demonstrated? Oh, absolutely. We're able to show animal models of same, and the Italian group has done a fair amount of work demonstrating that nanoparticulate matter can be highly disruptive, not only of brain vascularity, but brain function. You may not necessarily incur a stroke, but you're going to begin to disrupt the network properties of the brain, and as a result, engage something more of a long war's effect through the use of these types of matters where you now begin to influence the population in increasingly concentric circles of expansion. I'm telling you, the word's getting out. And you guys might be like, well, okay, well, I didn't see it on the news. Well, that's because certain news don't get to play everything. Check out this news. In the borders of the state into the atmosphere, Kentucky, New Hampshire, Minnesota, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, and South Dakota, all introducing similar bills banning geoengineering of the skies. The New York Times reporting that secrecy around the project stems from fears that the public knowledge could lead to criticism and attempts to halt it. Yeah, no kidding. You know, we're going to stop it. That, that's the point. Now, folks, stuff's happening in the sky, and it's bigger mess than I think that you even know because we're all down here doing our daily life, following the rat race, while a lot of craziness has happened in the background. 
and it's developed and it's developed. And like I said, I don't wanna get into the, the full mess of it, not on this platform, but scratch the surface, keep digging into this one and you're gonna be shocked because this is really happening. Another global thing that's happening that I think you should all be aware of, I'm not gonna say anything about it, but I'm gonna play this news clip that said some stuff about it, which is popping up more and more globally. Check this out. AstraZeneca is moving towards withdrawing its COVID-19 vaccine worldwide after admitting to a rare side effect. There's a link between the jab and blood clotting in parts of the brain or stomach that can cause long-term disability or death. The drug maker applied to stop use in the European Union with plans to do the same around the rest of the globe. Our regulator discontinued the vaccine last year. Okay, so that's coming from News 7. Might be something worth looking into. I'm not sure. If that's a growing problem, then there's gonna be a lot of people in bad shape. Now, if you guys haven't seen the destruction that Hurricane Barrel has been doing on some of these Caribbean islands, like this one right here, it basically took out the whole island. The target is Texas. Get this, the target's Texas. That's where it's at. It's spared the Mexican coastline, the, the like the beautiful beaches, and it's beeline and straight for Texas with some serious precautionary measures, already warnings in place. Jamaica was hit hard. I heard that there was even a, an airport roof ripped off, which was insane. I know a lot of people are wondering where it's gonna hit landfall. Right here is an up-to-date image of where it's gonna plow right into Texas. It's almost like they were aiming for Texas. If someone was behind it, right? And I know some of you guys out there have some research in on how that the weather may be controlled, but boom, right there, Texas bullseye. And you can see how it's gonna plow all the way up into about six, seven other states. So I'm sure they're gonna get a lot of weather, but for those of you that know people that are in that area, you might wanna send them this image and tell them to stay informed. I'm seeing more and more posts like this. I've done some videos on this in the past. You guys know they're making the fake meat. They're making lab meat because in my opinion, there's a lot more money to be made and they can control and monitor and adjust whatever they want and you're getting fake stuff and they're cutting out a lot of middlemen, including the farmers. This post right here says, did you know every insect contains chitin? Did you know numerous studies prove that chitin is poisonous to humans? Do you know that Billy G and the WEF have strong ambitions to of ensuring you eat the bugs? Studies on eating bugs, like, I've dug into this stuff. If you guys haven't dug into this stuff, it's it's definitely a fun study. It's gonna have you opening your eyes gladly. Gladly, some of the world is waking up and like this right here, at least someone is taking steps in the right direction. Italy officially bans the sale of lab grown meat. Jumping on that wagon. Way to go, Italy. Another big reason of doing what we do. We're helping getting people over to even better meat that hasn't been messed with. Because I could do numerous videos on the food not being food anymore, like this. This is what some adults and probably a lot of children are eating out there right now. What you're looking at here is the aftermath of a drumstick ice cream cone that has been sitting out for 22 hours now. Um, this I set this out yesterday at 6 or 7 p.m. and it's now 4.23 p.m. the next day. And this is the outcome. It, I mean, it. if you watch my previous video, you'll see how after about two hours, the ice cream didn't melt, or melt at all. So this is the outcome after almost 24 hours. Folks, to think that the ingredients line on that particular so-called food, probably 200 listed items in the ingredients. And they're getting further and further away from real food. I can't imagine the long-term effect that eating stuff that's not even, I would say food anymore, has a toll on you. You don't already know what BVO is. Folks, there's a reason why they call this a toxic chemical and this is in fact banned in many other countries. You might wanna check your beverages and other things to make sure that's not in there, or at least do your homework and do some research on this, and you might be changing your diet if that's the case. And guys, when I say other countries are doing stuff different than America, it's not 
America is great. I love America, I'm very patriotic, but I'm saying that the control and the measures that we're living by are going by a different standard because it's probably being controlled by evil people. But look at what other countries are doing. Bread is not allowed in Europe because it's not legally classified as bread. Question is, who is to blame here? Is it the company or is it the government? I'd say it's America's insane lobbying. It's a legalized yeah. form of corruption. It, but that's where I'm a bigger fan of European policy. Here in Estonia, I've had the benefit of meeting various people who work in the government. And I look at the policy that they are enacting. For example, in Estonia, 51% of the country is forested. Everything grown here is certified organic. All yeah. of this is law. I hate to break it to you, but if you live in the United States and you buy bread, it's not bread. It's a commercial weird product that here in Europe, we cannot even consider food. And that's what you're putting in your body. And that's a perspective from Estonia. And I've been telling you guys that he said commercialized. Everything, everything has become commercialized. Everything. It's profit over people these days. That's why it's time for us to stand up and do something about it. Otherwise, we're just sitting on the sidelines complaining about everything that we're seeing. We're noticing it, but nothing's happening. We're all just growing our roots into our couch or putting up a mailbox and being and watching the parade go by. We're to a point where we need to do something. We need to do something about it. So if you haven't yet, please start shopping American Made. Make sure it's a good, reputable company. Make sure it's got non-toxic ingredients, real non-toxic ingredients. And as I said before, I found my place on where I'm going to help out and reach hundreds of thousands of people. And like I said, I need some extra help. I'm gonna play this little clip from a couple days ago, doing a reach out on getting a few more people to join our team and work with us on this mission and movement. Hold the rewind. I think it's time for patriots, people with a head on their shoulders, to start making a difference. Start doing something different that supports the way of their thinking instead of just going along with what everyone goes along with and then getting hurt along the way. And before we know it, we're not gonna have an American way to celebrate. Hey guys, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. I mean, this stems back to the Constitution, right? Constitution? Um, anyone feel like that's kind of, the celebration of that is, is, and everything that has to do with it is slipping away a little bit? It's a time, an era, where we need to really stand up. We need to vote with our dollars. We need to stop funding the problem and supporting things that we really, really care about, including our country. Right now, we recommend people buying American made, getting non-toxic ingredients. Have you seen the ingredients in people's products every single day? Like the stuff that, the illusion of choice. You go to the store, you buy everything that you need for the month. Look at the ingredients, guys. You don't, you don't have to dig very deep to find out that many would agree that we're getting poisoned. And then we're left to get, we're, we're left to rely on the healthcare system. And then you do some more digging, you find out it's all related. Look, there's lawsuits after lawsuits, money being paid out for people getting hurt. Remember, we're celebrating the 4th of July, constitution business, and what are they doing? They're tearing down statues of George Washington, Benjamin Franklin. It, it, it is a time where Americans need to stand together and start putting their money where their mouth is, supporting stuff that they agree with and also has the same interest and stop supporting and funding the issues that we complain about every single day. Otherwise, dates like this are just gonna be another government date where Government employees, only government employees, bank employees, all that, get the day off. The rest of the working class will be working because of the inflation, because of all the other problems that it endures. So I have, over for over the past year, been helping people switch over to American Made with non-toxic stuff, switching where they buy their stuff, getting away from the Walmarts, the Targets, the big box, and supporting a family-owned business. The last the last family-owned business at its scale to go up against the monopoly. We've reached hundreds of thousands of people, folks, and they're all happy. 
they're all happy for what they're getting, what they're supporting, and finally they're doing something about it. So, we've been doing it for over a year, helping people switch over to safer stuff in their homes, supporting American made, supporting family owned business that's against the monopolies. Um, we're growing, I need some extra help. So with that, I'm going to put together a Zoom because like I said, we've been doing this for over a year. We've reached tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, helped them, happily helped them switch over and we need more help. We need more help. I need at least another 20 people to join our team to help us uh, with the flood of folks that are interested in switching over to American Made Non-Toxic. And we need some extra help. If you are someone that would love to join our team, work with me in the background. You have to be American or ca Canadian and 18 or older. Be able to talk on the phone or work on the computer, laptop, tablet. You would like to work with us join a mission and movement that matters these days and heck who can't use extra money right i mean in some cases a lot of people that will get started with us will they'll probably turn a thousand bucks just in the first month doing something on the side how would an extra thousand bucks a month fit in your life so if you're a nice person you think the same way that i do in our community i could use the help so join us this Sunday, a Zoom. I'll go, go over the ins and outs of what we do as a community. And I would love to have you on our team. If it's a great fit, we'll see you there. Link is in the description and pinned comment.